you guys, I have decided to do something super exciting. So since I'm so close to 200 subscribers on YouTube, when I hit that, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So be sure you hit that subscribe button and check out the description box below for the details on how to enter the YouTube giveaway. And also be sure you check out my Instagram because I am almost at 2,000 followers there and will be doing another giveaway once I hit 2,000. So be sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me over there, and enter all the giveaways. Hey guys, and welcome back to another coffee talk. So today we're just gonna be really chill. And I'm on the floor, literally I have on like house shoes. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to combine like three weeks out with a coffee talk and life update. Just all the things are gonna be in this video. But first I wanted to talk about why I'm competing. This is a question that I have been asked before more than once. Okay, just being real with you guys because this is a coffee talk. I have always had this thing against being in a pageant of any kind. Like, I refused to be in pageants as a teenager, but that's because I completely, I think, misunderstood what the point of being in a sort of pageant or a sort of um, physique competition. Like, the point of it is not to, it's not a beauty contest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know some of them are, <laughs> but. What I've really learned since starting to compete, and yes, like you are judged on your physical appearance, especially in a fitness competition, but I think it gets a bad rap because it's, you know, women vying for um, trophies and they're in bikinis and look, I get it. I totally get it. Like it can come off as really disempowering for women. But if you're like me and you have competed, I think you realize that the the purpose is not to compete with the person beside you it's to compete with the person you were yesterday so my goal in this next competition is to just continue to grow and to become better like the best version of myself so i'm really competing with the person i was last show <laughs> no one else the the thing that i've come to love most is not like trying to get a six pack or trying to get killer shoulders or whatever like the physical results are not what motivates me like they're exciting don't get me wrong it's exciting to see all of your hard work paying off um but what's even more exciting is the relationships that i've made along the way and the opportunities that have come about and just things i never thought were possible before are now like I see them within reach and it's so exciting. Something that happened that I'm so excited about that I wanted to update you on. Now, I told you about this in last week's vlog, the one where I was in Florida and I was working out with my mom. Um, so Oxygen Magazine, if you turn to page 94, 92, <laughs> turn to page 92. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's the future fitness section, and that's me. <laughs> so, yes, I was featured um, alongside four other incredible women, one of whom I have the pleasure of, we're going to like film some interviews and photo shoots and stuff while we're in Vegas together, and that is Stacey Vinagro. And anyways, we are so excited. Um, so it's really cool that we're both like, I know her. <laughs> so that is super exciting to be um, recognized as part of the future of fitness. And um, thank you so much, Oxygen Magazine. I know this is, this is my very first um, national publication, like debut. So I anticipate, <laughs> And I'm putting it on my vision board as the first of many. So that's what I mean whenever I say that like, competing is like wearing a bikini is such like the tiniest aspect of it. And I know like 
unless you do something that is so far out of your comfort zone because trust me it is I think anyone's biggest fear to put on a pair of five inch heels and strut around stage in a tiny teeny bikini but until you do something that is just so far out of your comfort zone like you it just challenges you in so many aspects and you grow in so many aspects so that is why I'm competing. If you haven't already picked up your copy of Oxygen Magazine, it's available at Barnes and Noble and like probably anywhere else. Target, I think. Check that out and you'll see a familiar face. Ah. <laughs> now, we'll move on. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. But there's something you're trying to hide 